Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So we are right smack dab in the middle of, well, I guess it's, uh, <laughs> I guess it's summer. Um, you, would, you, you wouldn't tell by the rain. It, it's pretty, di pretty disgusting. Oh, wait a minute. How are we doing? Okay, good. The traps are still good. Uh, our people are still working. Oh, are they done with their field work? Oh, no, they're up there working on the fields. It's, ooh, this weather is terrible. Okay, before we, here, let's get inside from the rain. And uh, what am I, what, what am I dealing with? I am, I'm clean, if not a little bit drizzly. Um, I have a few things on me that are going to help me with today's endeavor. So first of all, I have 200 cabbage seed, 400 flax seed, and 200 wheat grain. This is all kind of extra. I don't really need any more than that. I, I didn't process all the flax because, quite frankly, um, yeah, it takes forever. And, yeah, I still have 731 left. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. And I made sure that I had, uh, well, we'll have enough flax seed for the next planting. Uh, the other thing that I had, of course, was uh, wheat grain and cabbage seed. So cabbage seed, I have 54 left. That's more than enough to replant. Uh, we're good on that front. And, of course, wheat grain, which I'm not really doing anything with wheat right now. But I still have 256 left after this. Uh, and I still have 362 that has to be processed. So we're, this is all excess. And it, it, it look at that. It's uh, 200, 400, and 200. That's 800 seed ranging in price from 8 to eight to 10 coin each. Um, of course, you don't get that price. You, you end up, you know, it's probably about 5 or 4. So it's still a fair amount of money. Uh, on top of that, I did get a little busy uh, making... <laughs> I made 299 stone arrows. Yes, 299 stone arrows. So it's, uh, yeah. Uh, what, what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to go buy us a young horse. And um, either a colt or a filly. I'm not exactly sure which. So we're going to go to Hornica because Hornica is horse land. And uh, yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, yeah, I, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Hornica. We don't have a lot of time. It's going to get dark fairly quick, so I want to leave right away, which is why I'm spending a lot of time in the menu system, because when I'm in the menu like this, it halts time in the real world, in the game world, I should say. And so, not in the real world, of course, that would be that would be awesome. <laughs> but no, in the game, it halts time. So we're going to basically head up to Hornica. We're going to go through, uh, well, wolf territory. We're going to go through, it's pretty nasty, but that's okay. Um, so we want to go that away. Uh, and I, it's, it's not, it's not a close, uh, sort of run. It is, uh, it is 1100 kilometers or meters, right? So it's over a kilometer, but, uh, you know, all good things require a bit of effort. Yes. And of course he's exhausted already. It didn't take long for him to do that. So, um, what I was thinking was, oh, what is that? Ew. Clay and a bronze shovel. Well, I'll take the bronze shovel. The clay is... I mean, we could take the clay. I could sell it. Or something. If we run into weight issues, then we'll deal with it. Somebody... Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Badger. How's it going? Um, somebody, of course, left that bronze shovel and clay uh, in that field. I don't know who that would... Who would do such a thing? Oh, my. This is... Here, I'm going to reduce the sound level a little bit. Ah, so, the plan. Um, while we're doing our little uh, cross-country tour here, which can get kind of interesting sometimes, um, maybe we'll run into some trouble, I don't know. Although, oh, the other thing, I, I don't know if I did this on camera. I did make more copper arrows. So, And also, we do have an iron crossbow with copper bolts, but we're not using it right now. Uh, but it is a nice backup. Uh, right now we're using the recurve bow with copper arrows. So, you know, and it, th there should be loaded. And look at that. Look at that fine arrow. But uh, we're, we'll, we'll deal with it. And also, of course, we have our torch just in case we run into wolves because apparently that does work. Uh, we have one torch at 41%. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of torch left. So I'm going to have to use it uh, sparingly. Now, if I... If I'm basically going as the crow flies here through the bush, which I figured, you know, maybe it would, we'd run into something interesting, but if we, <laughs> oh, it's an animal. Okay. Uh, but if we take a look at the map, um, 
I have to be careful because, well, the bear is over here, so we're going to miss the bear. But we're going to come right through here. Yeah, okay. Do, do, do. Hey, rabbit, how's it going? <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, let's just keep going. Do, 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 do. Hey, Trail, how you doing? Oh, oh, hey, there's a cart over here. Oh, a hat. Oh, a, uh, a copper sickle. Sweet. Is there anything else that's here that's kind of interesting? This is kind of why I like going, you know, like as the crow flies. Sometimes you, you do get, uh, you get some, you run into these little things and, and it's kind of cool. But, yeah, let's just keep going. Um, right. So the plan. Oh, man, I will get to it eventually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the, uh, oh, wow, look at this. Okay, let's uh, see if we can get around this and not fall to our death. Oh, that looks like the kind of place that would have some loots and stuff, but it doesn't appear to. Wow, this place is so cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and get the colt. Now, the colt takes a little while to mature. Uh, colt or filly, I don't really know. We're going to just see what what, uh, what strikes our fancy when we get there. There's the Typically, the Hornica will have uh, a couple of animals. Or uh, I should say, when it comes to horses, they'll have four. Uh, there will be an adult male, adult female, uh, a young male, and a young female. So, uh... Whoa! Okay! <laughs> hey, guys! How you doing? <laughs> you know what? We're not far from Hornica. Uh, so, we're not going to get an adult because they're, they're more expensive. But it's not just the cost. Uh, I need time. Look at this. Well, this is cool. <gasps> There's a chest here. Hey, look at that! Spare torch! <laughs> and coin! Oh, nice! Oh, I needed torches. That's, uh, that's really... Oh, and a wine bottle. So this is like uh, somebody's little, uh... You know what this is? Oh, I know what this is. This is the, uh, the local lookout point. This is where all the young... Uh, the, the young uh, lads and lasses come uh, to, well, we, we won't talk about it because, you know, it's private. It's private lad and lass business, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, there they are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh! Back off! Oh, yeah, that worked! <laughs> do I want to do this? Oh my goodness. It's a bit of a... Some time issues here, but... One down. Two... Oh, no, not quite. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! There, oh! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> there's an up there's a copper arrow moving around down there oh my health okay 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 <laughs> let's see if do we have some health potions we have potion of instant healing do i have something that is like a bit less oh man okay well i guess we'll uh we'll take you okay where are you Okay, we got him. We got him. I think we... Did we get all of them? I'm not sure. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, 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 okay. What have I got? Where I can I can never remember where anything is. Four. Oh, let's just... Uh, let's get the wolves. <laughs> and hopefully uh, we're not going to get attacked while we... Uh, while we do this. And did that get my... I think that got my arrow back. We'll do an arrow investigation in a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. Now, we do get... If the arrow is in the animal, then we do get that arrow back. Um, when we... Yeah, one copper arrow, but there's another one here. Oh, oh, maybe not. <gasps> oh, that's a... Oh, oh, there's one. There's a copper arrow. Oh, I hit the... Oh, that, that, uh, that bridge will uh, learn to rue the day. That, uh, that I got in my way. All right, let's see. 
Let's get you. We should get this copper arrow back. And, you know, I, I didn't quick save. <laughs> that was probably a mistake. That was probably a mistake. Oh, my goodness. All right. Are we dealing with... Is there anything else that we can gather here? Do we... Any copper arrows or... No? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, can we... No, we can't. Um, yes, we can. I need to drink. So I'm going to have a little bit of this, uh, this uh, sort of stream water. There we go. Oh, and we're gonna we're just gonna keep moving on. Uh, you know what, buddy? How about you put that away, and uh, let's just let's try to get to Hornica. I th oh, I think it's stuck in the action music again. <laughs> I, I, oh, it, oh man, it did this before when I when I fought some uh, boars. Oh, it went back to normal. Oh, look at this. Copper ore. Oh, we got some nice copper and tin ores and stuff like that. Cool. Excellent. That's a stone. Okay. Here, let's uh, let's get a torch out. Let's see if we can... Uh, uh, no, that's nothing. But is there any other ores here? Um... Looks like we got them all. All right, let's get let's get up to Hornica before you know before closing time. Uh, you know we don't want to really we don't want to keep people up, and I do I would like to get this sorted uh, because I do have other things that I want to get done. So once we get this sort, well I need to sell things for one thing. Uh, how am I doing filth wise? Twelve percent. Oh, okay. All right. Let's uh. You know what? I'm not going to dilly-dally. Let's get some commerce out of the way. Um, oh, Gundolf. Can I help you? Show me your wares. Oh, you sell all the cool stuff. I might come back to you if I have any cash left. In the meantime, I bet you anything that your customers would love some stone arrows. Now, how much... Uh, oh, that cleaned you out. <laughs> that gives me 5,000 coin. All right. Did I just sell all of my stone arrows to you? Yes, I did. At 290... Well, 10... Okay, yeah, yeah. See, we don't... Yeah, we don't get a lot of money for that stuff, but that's okay. But we've cleaned them out, basically. And, uh, yeah, we'll come back maybe to See you... Soon. Yeah, in a little bit. Uh, now, there is also... I don't know if she's working right now. No, she's not. Uh, here, let's get some light happening. Let's see if we can... All the bags are over this way. But the, if you look up on the, um, the compass, you can see the... Uh, there's it's Helga. Nice to meet you. Hi, Helga! My wares never disappoint. I hope they don't. But, uh, you know, normally I would be interested. But right now, what I would like is to sell you some cabbage seed. There we go. And perhaps some... What else? There was the wheat grain... There we go, 238. We're up to 6,900. And then flax seed. And we've cleaned her out. We still have two, 353 flax seed. Well, thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> you too. Um, let's see. We have... Oh, Yan! Hey, how you doing there, Yan? Whatever you need, I've got it. Well, actually, it's what I can do for you. I'll bet you anything that you need some flax seed for your, your uh, smithy business. Uh, it, it would probably come in extremely useful. So there we go. He's got 820 left. Now we could sell the clay vial, um, wine bottle. You know what? Is there, what else is, what do I have? I could sell the bronze shovel because I, I do have, um, yeah, I have an iron shovel already. So we're going to sell that. Uh, the copper sickle. No, I'm going to let my farmers use that. Really, the, the, the shovel I could let my farmers use, too. Uh, copper bolts, no. The iron crossbow, no, no, no. Wooden hammer. I don't think there's anything else here that I would like to sell to you. Uh, oh, by the way, look at that. We have 28. So we only lost one copper arrow in that fight. That's not bad. Uh, food, there's nothing really here that... Oh, we could sell you a wheat beer. These, some of this is loot that I picked up from elsewhere. And, you know, uh, here... I bet you you could do with a little bit of raw meat. Why not? It'll, uh, and some bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, berry wine. There we are. And then, uh, clay. 
Ah, it's not worth anything. I, I'll just hang on to it. Um, we've got tons of fur back at the bay, at the uh, the village, so you can have that. And the rest of this, I'd like to keep because it's useful. And I think that's it. Oh, and a clay cup. There we go. And then you have three hundred left. I'm up to nine and a half thousand coin. Have a good day. You too. You too, friend. All right. Well, it is nighttime. Uh, I wanted to get here before just to get some commerce done. Uh, and then I think what I'm going to do, because I'll be honest with you, this weather is extremely grim. Uh, and I'd love, by the way, here, if we could just take a look and see what we can, what the situation is with uh, housing. Uh, I think we have a simple small house that is empty. So we could actually recruit a couple if we wanted to right now. And so I might just do that. Uh, so let's see what we're dealing with. We've got Norberta here. Oh, wait a minute. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Norberta here is... Oh, yeah, she's she she's all twos and ones. I'm sorry, dear. Now, let me put the torch away. There's some light here. Uh, we got Strogomir here who is... Hey, three in, in extraction and hunting. Not bad. And then we've got Sulagost who is three in extraction and farming. Oh, you know, I do need, um, I need farming. What, now, what was it, hunting? Yeah, see, I need farming and extraction more than I need hunting and extraction. Sulagost. How can I help you? I'm, cre uh, you know what, let's have a chat with them. It's raining and terrible, but, you know, I, I think we'll just, uh, we'll do that anyways. Um, small talk. What's on your mind? Uh, first you're born, then you grow up. We've, we, okay, we're familiar with this. He's the circle of life guy. Uh, and then how's your day going? Halfway point of the year. I, I would go through these, but we've seen them many times. Uh, he's talking about how much work there is uh, still ahead of us, even though we're at half the year. And then, um, getting my hands dirty. So he's, you know, this is the farmer thing. And also, he is not great at bargaining, which is true, because his diplomacy is like a one. So, you know, buddy, I think that, uh, I think I wouldn't mind to have you join my team. There we go. And let's see, can we get out of this rain? Can we? There we go. Okay. All right, so we have a new guy. Uh, we have Sulagost, and we could give him a nice new home in our empty house. Uh, I know that this is the house I use for upgrades and stuff like that, but um, I just, I, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna be working on, by the way, next. Uh, once we get the horse, uh, I need to start focusing on building more houses and recruiting more people because we have, we have baby apocalypse coming currently. I don't know if you've, if you take a look here, you'll see, you know, that we have a little bit of an issue here with, with, well, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in a minute here. Let's just take a look. Uh, now he is capable of, uh, let's, it doesn't show it here, but, oh, here it is. He's a uh, extraction and farming. Now, uh, we lost somebody in the excavation shed, right? And we are going to lose somebody in the thing, but so I, but the excavation shed is important because that's where I'm getting stone and limestone, which is key to upgrading all of my houses to the next tier, to the, to the better walls, uh, which will, um, improve insulation, cold weather, all that sort of stuff, reduce firewood usage. Uh, so that is super important. And then the woodshed is good. The workshop is empty, but we can, we can live without for, without that for a little while. Same with the well, uh, we are going to be losing, well, we need somebody for the stable. And we are going to lose somebody. Well, we're going to show you what we're going to lose. But for now, I'm going to put him in the excavation shed because he's useful there. I think the barn is still good, but let's put him in the excavation shed for now. Um, and we're going to make him into a miner. There we go. And he'll help out with uh, he'll help out with that uh, those endeavors. So, uh, but here's the here's baby apocalypse that's coming up. So we've got Lamberta, Nidomira, and okay here. Yeah. Can we go, is this, there we go. Now I can scroll. Are you still? No. You have a house. Okay. It'll take a while. I think for this to disappear, it has to, 
I guess, recognize the fact that he has a home now. Um, I don't really sure why. I guess it just takes a minute. Okay, it'll happen. Um, but if you take a look here, we've got one, two, three, four, currently four uh, pregnant mo mothers right now. Dela Bora, who is the other miner, right? She works in the um, excavation shed as well. She's about to go. We've already lost somebody in the, uh, as uh, basically a miner. Um, let me see here. Well, we won't get into that, but uh, I think it, was it Metarica? No, it might, no, it wasn't. Who was it? Otmar? No, he's a hunter. And he's also male. <laughs> Yeah, that tells you everything. Okay. Uh, oh, excavation. What am I? I'm looking at the wrong column. That's what it is. Uh, anyways, it doesn't really matter. The point is that we're running out of people in certain fields. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna lose a miner. We're gonna lose an animal breeder, and I believe it's she's the goose house. No pigsty. All right, doesn't matter. We're gonna lose somebody from one of the. We're gonna lose our seamstress. And we're going to lose, uh, okay, yeah, one is the goose house. Yeah, so we're going to lose both the goose house and the, uh, oh man, we might have to transfer Sulagost over to that. But you, you get the point. We're, we're, we're short on uh, numerous people. Now, uh, Strogomir Hello, here, friend. actually, um, Goodbye. He, is, uh, he, is, he is not a great farmer. And, and, you know, I need farmers more than I need anything else, which is why I picked uh, uh, Sulagost. Oh man, I'm 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 a bad bad I'm a bad man. So, uh no, it was oh. You know what? I'm just going to So the ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm a bad person. Don't look at me. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> now I could do a um uh I could do a uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, night vision potion, just to get myself, uh, up to speed here as far as the, uh, you know, here, actually we could, here, let's do this, there, we can get you a bit of light, but what I plan on doing is I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sleep through the night up here, and then we're gonna, in the, the, presumably tomorrow the weather will be better, and, uh, we will be able to, I'm gonna make a little campfire out here, and we'll, we'll be able to, uh, view our potential uh, horse friends, new new companion. Uh, I need more sticks. One more. Oh my goodness. Really? There. Okay. Uh, let's see. You, and then not lighting. We need campfires, and we just need a regular campfire. Um, areas occupied. Right. So we got to get further away from... Occupied, occupied. I think it's over this little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've done this before, by the way. There we go, and then we can uh, sleep through the night. There. Oh, bright sunny day. <laughs> and it's much better weather. So this is, uh, this is quite epic. Now, let us go and review the horse situation, and see. Uh, which we will be picking, the filly or the colt. Now we have, uh, oh, a black filly, like a black with a with a white patch on, <gasps> and she's got socks. And then we've got a we've got a nice little oh wow, well, you know what? You're pretty cool, but I do. Oh, look at the socks! Look at the socks! Look at the feet! <laughs> Five thousand. 5,000 coins. So we have um, more than enough. We have 95, almost 9,500. So we can actually, this is, this is no problem at all. I'm going to buy you. And we are going to put you in the stable. Uh, there we go. And now the problem is uh, right away. <laughs> there's a bit of an issue with this. The stable currently has no food in it. And so what we need to do is, and I'm, Glad I'm thinking of this ahead of time. Uh, we need to go to the animal husbandry, and we're going to assign. Um, well, both the goose house and the pigsty are going to become vacant soon, 
but we're going to have to uh, assign. <laughs> so so that's fine. But we need to assign somebody from one of these two into the thing. I think the go the geese are going to do better. Um, the pigs need more food, and uh, I think the, the and we need the manure for uh, fertilizer. The goose house is eggs and feathers, which, while important, I think we can, you know, live with uh, without a little bit longer than we can without you know the other stuff. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look and see that, uh, uh, I still don't know how to say her name. I'm sorry. I really am. Um, but we're going to take her and we're going to put her in charge of the new horse, which I am sure she will be very happy about. There we go. And then we take a look. There's nothing really in the stable. There's nothing really we can set up. It's got no items, no nothing. But as soon as, uh, you know, oh, one, one years old. There we go. And hungry. Yes. Well, your, your new, uh, your new stable person is going to be able to take care of that for you. So that's absolutely a-okay. Oh, now I would love to recruit this guy as well, but quite frankly, uh, I can't put two dudes in the same house, so we're not going to do it. Now, while we're up here, there is somewhere I would like to go. And we're just going to go and take a look. But we are up at Hornica, and so this is a good opportunity. I believe we want to go here. Uh, I, th I'm, I think. it's. don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's the headwaters, but we're going to find out. Um, yeah, I think that makes sense. And so we're basically just going to, we're going to go as the crow flies straight for that direction. We killed the wolves, so I think we're in okay shape. How's the food situation? It's all right. We have uh, only four cabbages left, but that should cover us all right. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. Do, 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 do. Hey, rabbit, how you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just running. I'm going to turn audio back up a little bit. I turned it down because of the rain, but I really do want to hear some audio cues, like from, you know, like vicious animals, like growling wolves and stuff like that. Because, you know, scary. Ah! <laughs> I don't know where you are. Up there. Yeah? Get out of here! <gasps> There's more wolves over there. Okay, well, that's not where I'm going, so... All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, and, of course, we've got the Wysents. Hey, Wysent. You know... Oh, you did you hear that? I, it was pretty subtle. I don't know if you could pick it up, but... Um, through the headphones and with the audio turned up. You can hear this heat. They... they they kind of, I don't know what the right word for it is, but I would say it's like they snort or huff. They go, oh. oh, that's the dude. Yeah, we've been here. Hey, it's Data. Oh, yeah, we, we're working on it, buddy. He's like, when are you going to get me out of here? I can't stand to be in this valley any longer. Hey, that's a nice bow you got there. Oh, I can take it. Now, I've heard that you can actually take all of these items, but because you can see, like, none of it's stealing. But, you know, I'm not going to take his, his uh, straw hat and his longbow. Uh, I'm not really interested in that. So, hey, bud, you just do your... Okay. I'm just going to leave you alone. And you and your snorting or huffing, they're sort of a... Oh, that's a rabbit. Man, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I'm hearing all kinds of things. Those wolf attacks, I tell you, they really do a number on you. Here it is. Yeah. But what's that animal up there? Is that a lynx? Oh, hi, lynx. <laughs> yeah, they're harmless. There we go. This is the uh, memorial tree. So there is a story behind the memorial tree. I think it's like a really cool tree. Uh, I think the story is interesting. I'm not going to get into it. I've talked about it before, but I just like the tree. And I, I thought, you know, if we're in the neighborhood, we'd stop by and visit it. Uh, it's a little bit um, 
you know, it's a little bit of a crossover between the IRL world and the developers and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and I, th it's, I think it's kind of cool. There you go. That's the, uh, oh, sticks, yeah. That's the memorial tree. Now, it looks really cool at night and stuff like that. So maybe one day uh, we will come back here when, when we can get a better view of it. In the meantime, let's see where our next destination is. Now, we could go to... We could go to Jazerica, actually, but I really do want to get back home so I can build more housing. So we're going to go to Gustovia first. Now, the problem is that that is going to lead us right through here. And that right there is, that's bear land. That's bear territory. So we're going to go around bear territory because, well, I... Some of the animals. Uh, yeah, I'm not interested in what the bears have to say or what they have to... Uh, no, I, but I'm not interested in what they have to say. So we're just going to let bears do bear things off in their bear land, which is basically up there. And um, yeah, that's fine. We've already got... We got wisents. There's a, there's a couple of them over there. Which I don't... Have I gone hunting for wisent yet? I think I might have. Oh yeah, that's right. I almost died. Oh, wait a minute. Did I actually die and I had to reload? I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, it was exciting. <laughs> we'll just go with that. We'll just go with it. it was It was eventful. It was an eventful, eventful event. <laughs> it's the, the rabbits. You know, rabbits shouldn't make noises like that. You can hear them run and all that sort of business, but there's a lot of them. Look at the size of them. They're massive. These are some well-fed rabbits. Uh, yeah, I'm going that way. You know what we could do? Let's take a look. Um. Oh, I know this river. This this leads down to where my old village location was. No, we'll 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 head down. We'll go straight to Gustovia. Well, we do. We are limited in time. I do need to get on top of the whole housing situation. And oh, let's double check. By the way, um, if we go and take a look at the stable, we'll see that good. So there's, there's no longer an indication that our uh, filly is um, uh, hungry. So I'm very happy about that situation. I need to go that way. So we're going to go that way. Oh, okay. the other wolf over there. Let's see if we can get this wolf without um, attracting attention to the other wolf. Yeah, we lost an arrow. So there is a situation where we lose arrows. Oh, missed. Oh, missed. Got him. Got him. Okay. All right. Let's recover our arrows before we... Oh, no! <laughs> Where are you? What? Oh. Thank goodness. Okay, let's get our arrow. Let's get our arrows. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's still. Look at him. He's still trying to get me. He's not. He's like, ah, let me get you with my teeth. Ah. <laughs> oh, where'd the other copper arrow go? Into the tree. Oh, excellent. Well, that tree will. Uh, that tree will ne never defy me again. Uh, okay. I think. Um, all right. Well, we did. So in this, uh, oh, requires a knife. Did I not make a knife? Or could I, did I not have one? I'm going to make a, I think I, I think I used up my copper knife. I'm going to have to make another one because I like having that thing. It lasts forever. These stone knives don't last very long at all. All right. So let's get our wolves. There we go. 
Um, and there's you. So yeah, um, general rule, uh, you, will, you will get one arrow back uh, by the looks of it. If you, uh, wait a minute, was it only two wolves? I don't remember. Well, I guess it was. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, you'll get only one of your arrows back. So uh, if you if there's two arrows associated with a wolf, uh, try to recover them manually before you harvest to try to, and then auto collect on on a single one. Don't rely on the auto collection. Don't rely on the auto collection of arrows uh, to work correctly. In fact, let's take a quick look. Um, we should have no no. Okay, so let's uh, unequip and then equip. We're down to 26 arrows, which, you know, considering how much fighting we've done, that's not absolutely terrible. Uh, we've we've been doing quite a bit. Uh, so it's, yeah. Uh, now, what we should do is, <clears throat> well, what we're going to do next will depend. Oh, I should have gotten a trinket at the, oh, for crying out loud. Oh, dang it. I, I went to because I had some money left over. I meant to get some trinkets up at uh, from the from the from the from the guy. Let's take a look and see before we figure out what we're gonna do. That's a young Unigost. Uh, we're gonna check out our prospects here. We have Tatamir, we have Gustava, and uh, Zygmunta. And so we've got uh, three in farming, uh, three in in crafting, smithy. And we have a three in farming. Oh, wow. Now, let's see. Who did we... No, that was... Um, uh, Sol Sulagost. He is a 20-year-old miner. And Zygmunta is 29. So she's... I'm going to try to avoid those big age difference uh, differences just for the next little while. So, But we know that she's here. So see we've got... Soon. Uh, see you soon. And Gustawa is, yeah, crafting. I don't really need a craft. Hello. 27, yeah, she's not really the matching Jesus. age. Okay, and then we got Tatamir. So I might not have a lot of choice. Uh, what we could do is we could just uh, zip over to Borovo and see who's over there. And, uh, yeah. And that'll actually, what that'll do is uh, that'll give me an opportunity to uh, clean myself up because right now I'm 25% filth. So the act of crossing this river will clean me up and, uh, yeah. So what we're looking for in the immediate future is uh, someone who can do farming, preferably. Other skills are useful, but I do need people to take over with the, uh, the animal stuff. And we got a lot of farm people that are going to be going, so. There, 0% fill. Awesome. Uh, we need people. We need someone, t and we need uh, preferably a um, a young lady who's closer in age to our uh, newest recruit. So that that's kind of what I'm looking for in the immediate future. But there's lot lots of those folks that were, were very useful, and and uh, they look like mighty fine folk. But Will Berga here, who is a How farmer, is treating you? she's eight. Oh, she's perfect. She's just two years. Okay. Okay, so we've got Will Berga. Goodbye. We've got Madli Boga. Also a farmer. I'm gonna help you. 29. Okay, okay. Goodbye. Oh my goodness. Look at the all, all these people. And then we've got, who is this? Oh, Maynard. Okay, let's give ourselves, there we go. And... Excuse you. Okay, all right. Uh, Maynard. You are also a farmer, okay, and oh, you're 23. So you actually would be a cl you're close enough. You, uh, some of the the ladies that are in their later 20s would Goodbye. probably. I think I'm. Oh, that's fine. Um, so, but you're you're also a farmer. Wow, this is like. Did you? St there's like the land of the farmers over here. Okay, so we have choice, but in the meantime, we've got Will Berga here, who happens to be. How are you? the Boga? No. Have a good day. And Wilberga here is, Hello. yes, she's the perfect match. I think she'll do just fine. Uh, let's do a little small talk. How's, what's in your mind? 
First you're boi- born, then you grow up and learn how to work. <laughs> you harvest fields. Okay, so we're familiar with a lot of these. Halfway point of view. She is just like our latest recruit. Um, uh, except that she doesn't like to traverse forests and riverbanks looking for resources. Well, that's fine. We're not going to ask you to. Uh, welcome to the team. <laughs> All right, let's see. Now, we need, um, well, we can we can go to uh, Sulagost here, and we can go to that house, and what? Oh, I didn't name it, did I? Okay, let's do it that a different way then. Houses, there should be a house with one person in it. It's currently empty, and we're going to name it after our newest uh, recruit, which is... Wait a minute. Will Berga here. Right? Will Berga. Okay. Um, there we go. And we can change this into Will Berga. There we go. So we have, that's now Will Berga house, right? And we can also give Will Berga a job. I think, now of course she's going to be pregnant before too long. That's fine. You have to expect these things. It's a village. It's growing. These people need, they have lives. They have lives. They must, uh, you know, uh, the stable, uh, no, sorry, the goose house needs pers- a person. So we're going to, we're going to put you in the goose house. That's so that we can get some uh, eggs and feathers back. So that's cool. There we go. All right. I think that's it. And um, yeah, I hope you uh, enjoy our, uh, our little burgeoning village, which uh, somebody had the, a comment. If we take a look, if you go into management, uh, development style stages, settlement, and uh, we have currently 29 out of 65 buildings. Our population is 26. Um, our our bustling uh, burg is, I think, it's bigger than um, uh, bigger than Gostovia. It's bigger than other places, and Gostovia is a village. I think we should be a village, but... Uh, I think that's more, it has to do with game progression. So, you know, from a game progression point of view, the player's village is still a settlement because there's bigger stages. So they have to place you in the uh, thing. Actually, we can take a look at that. If we go to knowledge and then we go to building, not building, um, development, right? So here we go. So you start off as you are a traveler, meaning you have no home. Then you have your hermitage and a camp and then a small farm. Once you get start getting some stuff, farm, hamlet, right? Settlement. So we're currently in settlement phase. Um, and then after that, it's uh, village, town, and city. And there was some more information about this. And you can drill through a lot of this knowledge. And it's actually really cool. There's tons of stuff in here. Um, I just don't do it on camera because it's usually quite, uh, there's, there's just a lot of it and it, you know, uh, select build mode. No, it's not that neighbors, mother. Hey, we got mother. It tells you basically, ah, assigning two inhabitants of the opposite sex to one house may result in them being a couple and deciding to have a child. <clears throat> the smaller the age difference, the bigger their chance of ending up in a relationship, taking into account the age gap has to remain with the limit within the limit of 20 years. It used to be 10 years. Now it's 20 years. So the way it looks like what they've done is they've just, you can, you can put together a couple that is 10 years apart, but the, it slows down their progression into the state of a relationship. Uh, so if they're closer in age, they'll be, end up in a relationship quicker. So that, that's interesting. So that's a little bit of a change. Um, the pregnant mother can take any job as usual uh, inhabitants do, but only until childbirth. After the baby is born, she focuses on her child's upbringing bringing for the next two years. It won't be possible to assign the mother to any work during this period until the baby turns into a toddler. And this is the thing. So if you, you know, the, <laughs> that's until she has another child, in which case it's another two years. So potentially four years that you will uh, eat for each mom, four years that they can be out of the workforce. But as I say, that is the, that's what a village is all about. I mean, who wants a village without any uh, next generation? Uh, I know I would, I wouldn't like that. And I'm sure the people don't want that either. So, 
Oh, look. <laughs> she's off there. Who is that? Oh, she's really uh, gone walkabout. Gathering. Hey, De La Bora. Good job. You do you do such hard work, De La Bora. I, uh, you know, excellent. All right. Let's get back to the, uh, to the village. Oh, and here's Sulagost. Oh, he's gathering too. He's our new newest member. And I don't know which house it is that is Sulagost's house. I don't think it's like this is Lamberta. Uh, it's the, oh! Oh. Hi, hey, how's the filly doing? I'm just gonna go take a look. Oh. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, she's lovely. Look at the socks. I love the socks. <laughs> oh, the... Man, the, I, I really do like the horses in this game. They've, they've done such a nice job with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just getting exercise. That's it. You run around, get big and strong. We've got adventures to, that we're going to be getting into. <laughs> oh, that's right. You get excited. <laughs> that's so cool. So we now have ourselves a filly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I have to come up. Now, I do. I will come up with a name. Um... As per usual, I, I take my time with naming things and, uh, you know, something comes to me and yeah, when I, when something, when something, uh, occurs, I will, uh, I will, I'll let you know, <laughs> but, uh, until then, yeah, we're just, I'm just going to think about it for a little bit. Um, could be now, could be soon, could be later. Okay. Let's uh, do this. I need to eat and drink water. Now, we are in the last day of summer, and what I need to do is make sure that whatever farm work uh, needs to be done has been done. I suspect that the uh, farmers are done all their stuff, and they're basically just moping around and hang... Yeah, yeah yes. they're just hanging out. All right, let's, let's double check. Let's make sure that everything's fine. Um, and the fields are all... Yeah, anything I think that... Yeah, oh, there's only... This one's no longer too far away. Used to be three of them. Now it's only... Is it? Maybe it's only ever been two. I don't know. doesn't matter. Uh, this is definitely Ryan Oats. And then cabbage, I think. Yeah, cabbage. Cab and beets. The beets have been planted, so that's fine. Um, I think everything else is just... It's out of season. Like, flax won't be planted again until next spring. And that's a... Yeah. And it looks like... Have they done all the work on getting those fields sorted out? I think they have. They're all like uh, fertilized and oh my goodness. Now this is a cabbage field. There's a few of them. There's one here and I, this is a cabbage field here. These are flax fields. And they just need, yeah, seed. So they're all ready to go. So my, my team has been doing excellent work. All right. You know what, guys? Um, no good deed goes unpunished. Uh, so, uh, Radost, Prisvit, and Ostrobod, if you would be so kind as to do a bit of uh, barn work, I would be immensely grateful. And... Barn work. There we go. Man, they're really... Look at the levels. They're already, like, level 5, 5. Ostrobod, I think, is newer, so... Um, yeah, we need to get him a better home, too. That's, I think, why one of the reasons... There's two reasons... Here, let me... Uh, I think there's two reasons why people are in great moods. First of all, mo being a mom or a family. Uh, so, Metarika is with... Uh, is with... Sorry. Yes, there you go. So, that's the that's the child's name. The, the Dobre Woya. Uh, and Frederick. So, Frederick's going to be happy, probably because, A, he might be in a better house, but more... Also, uh, it's it's having a child. I think that just makes them super happy. Whereas, you know, like Nawoya here is, is you know, oh, has a family. She ha doesn't have a child yet, but she has a, probably a, not a, oh, simple small house. 
Yeah, but she might have a not a great house or something like that. So we have that's what we have to work on is making the housing better for them. And we have to build new houses so we can recruit more people so that we can get more farming going on before the before baby apocalypse comes. Yeah. That's a thing. That's definitely a thing. <laughs> that's so cool. Unfortunately, I don't think you can name the the horses. I really wish that I could name the horses here. That would be... Can you name the horse in management? Here, you know what? Let's, uh, let's retract all that. Okay. Animal husbandry, stable. The filly, remove... No, I would want to sell. I'm not seeing any indication of a way of naming a horse. So that's, that's a bummer. I'd like to be able to name the horses, but... Uh, what are you going to do? All right, so we need to build more houses. And uh, we're going to do that. Uh, but, well, we've got a house here. I'm going to start building out this way, I guess. And also, we're going to start building on this side of the road. Um, probably not here, but I do think we need to start building down this way and down here. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think... Like, right here would be a good start. So, nope. Yes. <laughs> uh, we're going to leave some of these trees in place, but this tree here has got to go. Do, 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 do. I wonder if there's any... Oh, oh, don't fall on my house! <laughs> and let's grab you and you. Okay. And we're going to go straight to... Uh, we're going to go straight to wood, uh, not wood, uh, stone and a plank roof. So for all the new houses that I make are going to be the, uh, they're going to be the, the target, like the, what we want them to be in the final result. So one, two, three, is there? Interesting. I could have sworn that would have, there should have been a is that that shovel yeah okay let's get you oh wait a minute oh these are spruce okay 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 <laughs> i should have known better all right do you think that's a big enough space to put in a uh oh, well, well i guess we're gonna find out now how many logs do i have on me I have nine. I think that's enough to put in a small house. We're just gonna build small the the uh, the little the little houses for now, just because of resources. And then it does look like obstacles. Yeah, I think this tree right here is a problem. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of you. Well, I apologize, um, Maple, but you got to go. <laughs> you got to go. And uh, Bunka. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. And dunk, 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 dunk. And hopefully that's actually going to do the job. Well, we could grab some of the resources out of here, too. Oh, I'm overburdened. Okay, well, we knew that was going to happen. Let's grab these sticks. The sticks are useful. And uh, they're probably going to disappear when I place this house. There's also berry bushes and um, deadly nightshade here. But uh, we can't we can't do anything about the fact that we're going to use up. Uh, we're going to, you know, if we, if we tried to build around everything, we'd never build anything. Let's see. Houses. Yep, that, it was that tree. Okay. We want to give a little bit of room... And uh, let's put one right here. We're gonna, we'll follow the uh, the road this time. Yeah. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edit and we're going to change. Well, let's see. We could keep the same. Well, no, let's turn this into a window stone window and we're going to change this into a stone door like that and let's see 
We have, we want one of these to be a window. Stone. This can be a uh, uh, stone wall. Oh. Oh, it's the end of the day. <laughs> but we want these to be windows both because uh, they need a view of the river. Right? There we go. And uh, this is uh, window wall. And this can be a solid wall. And we can't forget these guys up here. And there we go. And then the roof, of course, is going to be a plank. 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 And plank. So 48 planks. This is the problem with this, uh, with doing this, is that that's a lot of planks. We're going to have to make them ourselves, by the way, because we don't, we're not producing enough of them right now. Uh, but we should have a ton of logs. In fact, my inventory storage is probably bursting right now. Uh, we're going to find out. So uh, logs and stone. So what we can do is we can start putting in some logs. There we go. Use up what we've got. And there we go. So we're going to need... All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve logs. We're going to need twelve logs. And as much stone as we can carry. <laughs> so here, put the hammer away for now. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at our storage. Now, I can look at storage. Oh. Right, right. That'll rot in the next season. Um, we're pretty darn close. But let's take a look at the log situation. We've got lots of logs. So we're going to need 12 of them. So let's get the logs sorted out uh, because they, they're heavy. 30 kilograms. And let's put away the other stuff. Stones we'll keep with us because we're going to use them. 2,800. We've, we've got a bit of a buffer room there. We're fine. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's upgrade, finish upgrading the house with logs, and then we'll move on to stones. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> They're like, uh, I believe this construction is, is going to be excellent. Lamberta, this is your house here. You have a lovely home. I'm going to, it's the same. It'll be the same as your house. It'll be the same. It'll be the same. Don't, you don't need to, you know. I don't think she was. I think she was just, uh, she was happy to have some new neighbors in. Because, you know, everybody likes to have nice neighbors. Uh, you, 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 and you, and, wait a minute, okay. And you. All right, so any more logs? No, 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 Okay. Log. It's all stone and planks, so we could probably start working on the 48 planks. Um, 48 planks, it's two planks per... Yeah, I took the long way. <laughs> it's two planks per uh, log, so we're going to need tw uh, 24 logs. Oh, that's a lot of logs. I don't know if we're going to be... Are we going to be able to carry 24? Not quickly, but we will be able to carry it. All right. Well, let's just do it. Do, do, do. And then once we get this one sorted out, we'll be able to bring in two new people. And it looks like there was like a whole bunch of them at Borovo. And uh, that was, that's cool. Oh, there's logs here. I could have just used some of these logs. Or is that firewood? No, oh, those are logs. Okay. All right. 24. So that should give us 48. Uh, it should give us 48 planks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know what? This actually has been uh, kind of a fun day. I'm most happy about the... Uh, well, I mean, okay, we got a, we got a filly. A lovely little filly with, uh, with, with socks. I love the socks. The socks... I, okay, I know I'm harping on but I think they're cool. Okay. Um... And then we had we have two new people that we brought in, and we'll have uh, we'll be able to bring in two new more new people once we get this house sorted out. So I am super happy about that. Now the way we're going to do that um, is we're going to actually move 
uh, one of the established families or established couples, I should say, into this new stone house because I don't want to give like newcomers right into stone houses because that would that builds resentment you know like there's people that have been here for a while and they've been waiting for a, a house and they've put in hard work in making this village work and so yeah and we're gonna pref uh, give some preferential preferential treatment to uh young families with uh with that are that are maybe have a child or they have a child coming so that's the plan that's the plan that's what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, focus on that but we're gonna have to. We're just gonna build out on that. We're gonna keep building a, a couple of new houses. We're gonna upgrade existing houses. Um, try to get things sorted out. I have to double check firewood after I finish f building this house tonight. I'm gonna double check firewood, and I'm gonna double check food. Um, I don't think we're like nobody's nobody's dying or anything like that. But uh, the problem is that. Yeah, they they burn through it so quickly that they they just don't have the good food anymore, and I'd want I want my people to have good food. So, all right, let's let's get the roof done. Do 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 do. Is my hammer gonna survive? I don't think it is. I think it's gonna die, and I don't remember if I have a spare. I probably don't, but that's okay. By the time we get this, uh, by the time this one. There we go. Breaks. We can just whip down and I think there's a there's hammers in storage. Do 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 do. I'm hungry too, but uh, we're not. Nope. My stomach is not relevant. Oh no. We need tools and wooden hammers. Twenty eight. Let's grab a couple and let's assign the hammer to two. And bring it up. There we go. All right, back to work. Oh, you know what we could do? We could pick up, um, we could fill whatever space we can with, with stones. Uh, I currently have 15 kilograms that I can, ah, uh, 20. We could even go with 20. We can be a little overburdened. It'll slow us down a bit, but not a huge amount. So 20 kilograms or so. Which is, yeah, it slows us down, but we'll still make it over there. Do 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 do. It is getting dark. Uh, you know, building it's not a big deal because like the the house is all lit up, and if I use the 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 night vision potion, it just makes everything look weird. Okay. Um, I guess we could do this, but really, I'm just gonna do the work first. I should have. All right, you. Do 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 do. Come on, roof. And all right, I'll tell you what. Uh, we're getting a little. Oh, we we've, we've unlocked the house. The, that's the f the biggest version of the buildings of the houses. Nice. All right. Um, I'll come. I'll be right back when uh, when I finish putting this house together because we're getting a little little long here. All right. So there we go. We have a brand new house. We can. Well, we'll figure out who we're gonna put in here in the next one. Um, but look at that, we got a nice, it's a little warm campfire going, a couple of beds, and, a, and of course, a room for a child. Um, it's lovely. Somebody's going to be happy. And we're going to find out who is going to be happy in the next one. Um, in fact, I think in the, what we're going to have to do in the next episode is we're going to have to just uh, double down on uh, building population. Because, as I say, baby apocalypse is coming, and we're going to have to deal with it. So thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, where we... Oh, I guess, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm going to do a few tasks here, uh, make sure food and wood, firewood's good, and then we're going to probably pick up just before the transition into the next season. So, yeah, until then, and, uh, well, I guess I should say, until next time, y'all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.